Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am back after a brief hiatus here. And in this video, we're talking about e-commerce and Merch by Amazon listing translations. So I'm gonna show you guys one tactic that I've recently been using over the last month or two to do my translations. Very, very easy and simple and it's free. And I'm also gonna show you guys two other places to get translations done just in case you wanna spend a little bit more time or money to get them done professionally. So that being said, let's hop right in right now. So guys, when it comes to expanding your print on demand or e-commerce or merch by Amazon business into a new market, translations are obviously very important, but they overlook kind of the more important part of this, which is the local context and kind of the nuances of that local language. Now to get this all encompassed, we need to think about something called localization, which localization, pretty much what that is, it takes into account all those nuances of the local language. So things like the metric system, you know, things like currency, size conversions, how those all play out in that local market, and even things like slang and different search terms, SEO, all of that stuff. Now, obviously this is all really important because if we do this right, it helps our products be found by potential buyers. And the more eyeballs we can get on our products, that obviously means more chances for us to make a sale and to make money. So. This stuff's important, but the problem is if you guys are a Merch by Amazon seller, which I take it a lot of you watching this video probably are, you might have hundreds, thousands, or tens of thousands of different products and listings, and it can get really, really expensive to get like high quality professional translations done. And so that's where this first tactic comes into play. So we're gonna hop into the computer screen in one sec, and I'm gonna show you guys kind of the quick and easy free way to do this. So this is kind of just taking more of the translation approach. And then after that, I'm just gonna show you guys quickly two different areas where you can actually go and get professional translations and localization done all together to help you if you you know maybe only have 5, 10, 15, 20 products or something like that and you really want high quality listing translation and localization. So with that being said, let's hop right in. I'm gonna meet you guys in the computer screen and I'm gonna show you guys this first productivity hack. All right, guys, so ideally it would be great if we could pay someone to do all the translations and localization for us, but it's not really realistic. If you guys are a Merch by Amazon seller or you just have a lot of listings, like I have 3,500 almost, it's gonna be really expensive to get these all translated. So I'm gonna show you guys the easier way to do this. So let's look at our example really quick. We have the classic cornhole shirt I've used in a bunch of my videos. Really what we need to get translated is our brand name, our title, our two bullet points, and then the description down here. And so what we're gonna use is Google Sheets with the Google Translate formula. Now you guys don't even need to make this template. I've actually built this for you guys and I'm gonna put a link to this exact template in the description below. You can copy that. So go ahead, click the link and then click on file, make a copy, which will save it to your Google Drive and then you guys can use this as you please. And I've even included some instructions on here. So if you go to this first tab, there's some instructions just in case you guys forget anything. Now how to actually do this, it's a really simple formula. We just need to go ahead and do Google Translate and then the uh, text that needs to get translated, so B3, and then the country code. So in this case, we're translating from English and we're gonna translate to German. Hit enter and just like that, it's translating. So that's it, we can literally go ahead and drag this down and now we have our complete German listing pretty much done. We can go ahead and go through this process with all the other countries. Now, sometimes there's some countries, in case you guys aren't necessarily doing the Merch by Amazon countries, there are some countries that are a little tricky. So Japan kind of weirded me out. I thought it was gonna be JP for the country code. If you guys ever have questions or something's not working, go to the instructions page and it, click on this link. It's actually gonna show you all of the different country codes. So if we put it in Japan, you guys can see here the country codes JA. So now we can do our same process. So let's go ahead and do that one really quick. Google Translate. And just like that, same deal, we're, we are good to go. So if you guys already have a spreadsheet with all of your listings and kind of the title bullet descriptions, this is gonna be even easier for you. It's gonna be something that you can do in a matter of seconds. But even if you need to go in and put one of these in at a time, we put one of our listings in here, we're getting pretty much all of the other marketplaces spit out. So this is a really easy way to do this. And I will tell you guys, obviously this isn't perfect, but this is gonna make it a lot quicker and easier for you guys to get your listings done and do it for free, kind of have it in a semi-automated way. And I guess on the downside, this isn't gonna be the most accurate because we aren't doing the localization side that we talked about at kind of the beginning of this video, but 
this is great for people who have hundreds or thousands of listings. So that being said, let's look at the other side of the coin. If you guys have a handful of listings you want translated. So I'm gonna hop back out of the computer and show you guys the two other places that I recommend you get listings done if you want professional translations and localization. All right, guys, so we've gone over the quick and easy way to get listings done, but what if you wanna spend a little bit extra money and that go that extra mile to get those professional listing translations and localizations done? Well, you really have two different options. Number one is going kind of the freelancer route, and the second is going more of the agency route. Now, with the freelancer route, there's pros and cons. With the agency route, there's pros and cons, but before you choose one or the other, what I recommend is you guys have a few things kind of lined up beforehand. Number one, obviously, you need to know what languages you're getting your translations done into. Is it one language or is it multiple? Multiple. Number two, because a lot of these guys work on a word count basis, I recommend you know how many different listings you need done and then also the rough word count for them. And finally, my last recommendation is you should try to have like an Excel sheet or something actually built out ahead of time with like all of the different listing translations that you need done because this is going to expedite the whole process and just give you a sense ahead of time how long it's going to take to do this. Now, once you have all of that, there's really kind of the decision of which route to go. Do you want to go the freelancer route or the agency route? Now, my, most of my experiences is going the freelancer route. I'll tell you guys that up front, but I have heard a lot of great things about going the agency route, especially if you have a, a really small handful of listings that you need done really well. But with the freelancer route, the pros are you can normally get someone that knows the language really well in and out and is a native speaker. And normally it's a little bit cheaper and you can kind of negotiate with them a little bit more, maybe even get the, the listings done on a per listing base, basis rather than a word count basis. The kind of downside is that they might not always speak multiple languages, so you might have to get multiple different freelancers, which means more work, more management, all that stuff. And you also don't know if they actually know e-commerce in and out, so they might not know Amazon. So maybe they speak the language, but they don't know Amazon, Amazon SEO, Etsy, whatever marketplace you're selling on. Now with the agency route, they're kind of a one-stop shop. So the pro is you kind of just go there and you can get someone who's gonna be able to speak different languages or multiple contractors or subcontractors. They're gonna take care of all the headache for you, but you are gonna pay a premium. But the good thing is you know that these guys know what they're talking about. They know e-commerce, they know Amazon SEO, and it's really easy to find them. You just go to Google, do a quick search, something like e-commerce agency or e-commerce um, listing translation, something like that, and you're gonna find a bunch of different options. I'll put a few that I do know of or have heard of down below in the description, but I haven't had a lot of experience with them and I have no affiliation with these guys. So you might wanna do some digging for yourself. Now, if we go down the route of getting a freelancer or you know something like that, the best places to find those are gonna be Upwork and Fiverr. My personal favorite is on Upwork. That's where I found a lot of the ones that have done a really good job for me. And we just need to spend a little bit of extra time to vet these out on Upwork. Now, I've actually created a job posting template for you guys, which you can download for free, and I'm gonna put a link to down below in the description. But really quick, I'll just go over it for you guys. So I'm gonna pop it up on screen, but essentially what it says is, we just have a very, very simple thing with a few questions, kind of vet these people out and just tell them about the project and that's it. So something along the lines of Amazon listing translation and localization from English to Spanish, whatever languages you need done. We're looking for an experienced freelancer to help us translate our English product listings to Spanish for Amazon. This includes listing titles, bullet points and for each product. These listings must be also localized and optimized for the local marketplace, so a fluent native speaker with an understanding of SEO is a must. Experience uh, working with Amazon or uh, major e-commerce platforms is critical for this role. It is also a plus to have experience with tools such as Helium 10 and Sonar. Obviously, you guys can change out the different tools if you have other things that you want to use. And then finally, we have kind of our vetting out questions. So to be qualified for this job, we require that you are fluent in language X, Y, Z, English, Spanish, whatever it is. You're fluent in language, the language you're translating to, German. And finally, you have a track record of uh, listing translations or Amazon or other e-commerce platform, et cetera. Now, normally with Upwork, they allow you to also ask questions. So I will reword those as questions as well. So I will pretty much have three questions underneath that that says, are you fluent in language X? Are you fluent in language X that we're translating to? And then do you have experience or what is your experience with selling online or understanding Amazon, et cetera? So what this does is it 
explains exactly what we need. And then it's also telling them they need to have experience with e-commerce, et cetera, so that we know ahead of time that hopefully we're getting people that are only qualified to actually do these translations and localizations for. So this is gonna help save you guys a little bit of time. And I've used this exact template to hire translators before and it's worked really well. So again, link to that down below in the description, but let me know if you guys have success with that. Uh, obviously, if you guys find any ways to improve on it, let me know as well. I can always edit these and update them. So that'd be awesome. So. That being said guys, that is pretty much it. Those are really the three different options you have when it comes to doing translations, whether it's for your Merch by Amazon business or any other e-commerce business. So I hope that was helpful for you guys and let me know down below in the description if you guys have other methods of doing this or there's any tools or services that you guys really like for doing your translations. I'd love to hear about them and potentially explore them on a future video. So that being said, links to everything we talked about down below in the description. And if you guys got some value out of this, obviously subscribe to the channel. I'll talk about more different tactics and tools that I'm using, but I wish you guys all the best on your e-commerce journey and we'll see you guys in the next video.